How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and in this series, we're going to be getting started with Discord JS. So I want to make it known that obviously everybody who is watching the channel may not know this, but people on our Discord will. I am not super advanced when it comes to Discord JS or JavaScript. I know the basics of both. I've been learning Discord JS so I could teach you guys. We haven't been able to find a creator that we like. Uh, to do the Discord JS series. So I'm gonna start off by doing the basics and then possibly later on I might move into some more advanced things. Um, but if not, we will definitely have somebody take over when we get to the more advanced topics when I, regarding Discord JS and uh, JavaScript. <laughs> the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna install uh, Node.js. So you can go to the website and you can go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded. I'm gonna be using version 12.16.3. Feel free to use whatever version is compatible with Discord JS version 12. And with that said, that has to be uh, Node JS 12.0 or higher. So just keep that in mind. So then once you have it downloaded, you will be just go ahead and run it. I've already run it, so it's not gonna let me do the full install here. As you can see, it's gonna say change, repair, remove. Um, but you're just gonna go ahead and click install. I'm gonna click cancel on this because I've already done it, so we're just gonna skip over that part. Uh, but that is a pretty easy thing to do, so hopefully you guys don't have any problems with that. So to make sure that your Node.js is installed correctly, go ahead and open up your command prompt and go ahead and type in node-v. Click enter and you should be presented with whatever version you downloaded. If you don't see this and it did install, try just restarting your computer. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a folder on our desktop here. We'll call it discord.js-tutorial. Try not to put spaces in the name if you can help it because we're, the way we're gonna be doing our package uh, JSON setup, we're just gonna do the automatic. So if it has spaces in the name, it won't work. Um, but feel free to not do the automatic way. That is totally up to you. So now a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, I need NPM. But just so you know, npm is installed when you install Node.js. So that's just one thing that's right out of the way. So let's go ahead and type in cd. Let's, oops, add a space in there. And let's go ahead and drag our folder into our command prompt, click enter, and now we're inside of this folder. So we're gonna go ahead and say npm init-y. And now you can see here, it did a printout of what our package.json looks like. This is totally fine. You want to keep this in mind here, whatever your main uh, J or your main is here in your JSON file. So for us, that is index.js. So let's go ahead and open up our folder here. And as you can see, uh, I am recording this at 2K. Um, so if you guys are having problems seeing things, let me know and I can jump back into my 1920 by 1080 screen. Uh, so if we open up our package.json, We'll use uh, we'll use Visual Studio Code because that's what we're going to be using for this. We can see everything inside of there. Okay, I made the text a little bit bigger for you guys. Hopefully that is big enough. Uh, but again, let me know in the comments if this is all too small. So let's go ahead and click File, Open Folder. And so we're using Visual Studio Code. Uh, it's a very simple download, so you can just go ahead and type in VS Code in Google search. And you can see here, uh, VS Code, just go ahead and download for Windows and it will start automatically. I obviously, are, I obviously already have it installed, so I do not wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click close on that. But now once we have Visual Studio Code, installed go ahead and go to file open folder go to desktop and just navigate to or uh, navigate to wherever you put your install your discord.js folder and we can see here that our package.json is there that's great and now and on windows you're going to go ahead and type in you're going to do control tilde which is the button underneath your escape key and that'll open up your terminal and then inside of our terminal here we're just going to go ahead and type in npm install discord.js go ahead and click enter and you'll know if your install finished correctly because it will say add to 15 packages from 17 contributors and audited 15 packages and however long it took you to download it and it will say found zero vulnerabilities so now the next thing that we're going to do is completely optional but um, it is highly recommended by the discord js team is installing a linter which just helps you with some syntax errors and just helps you keep your code consistent. 
So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll put a link down below to the Discord.js tutorial on how to install the linter, uh, but we're gonna be doing ours for uh, Visual Studio Code. So we're gonna go ahead and say npm install, and we're gonna install ES lint. Click enter. And now if you have multiple Discord or the JS, you know, bots and folders, you can go ahead and do this globally by adding a dash dash global before the package name, which is ESLint. So now that we have ESLint installed with NPM, we need to install it for our Visual Studio Code. I obviously already have it installed, but if you go to your settings, or if you click the little gear at the bottom left, go to extensions, type in ESLint. It is the top one. And you can just click install mine says uninstall because I because I obviously already have it installed. And then what we want to do is we I'm just gonna again I'm copying this right directly from Discord JS's tutorial on how to set up the linter, but we're just gonna go ahead and create a new file and it's going to be called dot eslintrc.json. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this file over or the file name, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy exactly what they have inside of their lint file and as they say some of the major points of this setup would be allowing you to debug with console log prefer using const over let or var as well as disallowing var disapproving of variables with the same names and callbacks requiring single quotes over double quotes requiring semicolons while it is not required in javascript it is considered the most common practice to follow requiring accessing properties to be on the same line, requiring indenting to be done with tabs, limiting nested callbacks to four. If you hit this error, it is a good idea to consider refactoring or refactoring your code. So again, I just totally copied and pasted this from their site and you guys can feel free to set up your own linter. This is just what they use when they're showing you guys how to set up your bot. So I figured it's best to just do this because that way everything I do will be matched to what they're doing. And before we end up, end off this video, we're going to do one last thing, which is we need to go ahead and actually set up a bot. So if you go to the Discord JS, or excuse me, if you go to the Discord website, and if we go to Developers, Developer Portal, obviously you can see here I have a bunch of different uh, bots here. And this was my bot. We're just going to go ahead and delete it just so we can start totally fresh. Oh, I'm not going to delete it because I don't feel like getting my... 2FA out. So this is going to be just be called Discord JS YouTube. Go ahead and click create. Next thing we need to do is we need to go over to our bot here. We need to add a bot. Yes, do it. And here we go. And so now we're going to go ahead and invite it to our server. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. I like using the Discord uh, permissions, uh, the discordapi.com permissions calculator. I think it just works the best. So let me just pull it up here. I'll put a link in the description as well. So we wanna go to our general information. We wanna copy our client ID and we wanna paste that in there. Click that link, it's gonna open up your Discord and we wanna select the server that we want it to go to and we're gonna send it to Playground or whatever your server is. Click authorize. And so now if I pull up Discord, and I go to playground, you can see, oh, you can see in a second, as soon as I do this, you can see that now we have our Discord JS YouTube bot there. Okay, so that is going to do it for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and get our bot up and running and we'll be getting started with some different configurations. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And also let me know if the screen size is too small. Um, I will be recording probably at least four of these videos in advance, so I probably won't be able to adjust it until later on. Um, but do let me know if the screen size is a problem and I can definitely zoom in or just switch back entirely to my 1920 by 1080 screen. All right, I'll see you guys next time.